Pennsylvania Farm Bureau's Mobile Ag Lab is a mobile agricultural education science lab complete with all supplies and a certified teacher that travels to a different elementary or middle school in Pennsylvania each week. The lab is designed to target grades kindergarten through eight. Well, Lily, welcome to the Mobile Ag Lab here. The Farm Bureau owns this. We have about six of them in the state that go around. Uh, this is one of the fair activities that we do. Sometimes the older people don't want to make the farm fans that we do in here. Those are mostly for the little kids. But this is for anybody that would like to try this. And what we're trying to do is figure out in our day, we start at 6.30 in the morning, and we have these boards up here that go all the way around. When we come back here, it's 9 o'clock at night. And look at all the things that we use that agriculture is part of producing. So we're going to start at 6.30 in the morning, and there's a picture here. Do you know what that picture is of? Deodorant. Right. And we have a deodorant right on our board, don't we? So we have deodorant at 6.30 in the morning. Now, what thing do you think that comes from this circle might match up with an ingredient that is in that uh, deodorant? Beef. Beef. That's a good guess, but it's not right. <gasps> this is a hard one, something that most people don't think about. This one actually, well, we have the answers down here too if we're not sure. Corn. Corn. When you get ready each day, corn may have been used to make your deodorant toothpaste, and mouthwash. So the corn is in, in so many different things, isn't it? So we would match this one up, or we can write corn, so we remember. This is fun to take out and ask other people about, too, especially when we have the answers. Then we look at 7 o'clock in the morning, and there's a picture of a tire. Beef. Beef. How did you guess that? Because I heard that Beef is made in roads and tires. You did. You already heard that before. Wow, I'd never heard that before. But on here it does say that. Beef fat is found in asphalt on our roads, and tires hold their shape because they contain steric acid from beef. I don't know who came up with that idea, but it's pretty interesting. So we're going to match up the beef with the tire. Good job. Well, here we come. It's almost school's about ready to start, isn't it? So here we have 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to start school, and we're going to think about newspapers, too. You should get the newspaper in the morning. And the ink. Where do you think the ink comes from? Where is it made? What, what, what agricultural commodity does it uh, come from? Soybean. Soybean. How did you know that? We'll make a line here. You guessed. That was a good guess. So we'll write soybean in here so we remember. And then you can ask some other people, too. Soybean. That's pretty interesting. See, now they can, they can shred the newspaper, farmers can, and they use it for bedding for their cows. Did you know they did that? Yeah, I didn't know did that. Did you know that? So do you save your, your newspapers for farmers? Every once in a while. Every once in a while. That's a good thing to do. All right, here's one more. Let's try this one. It's 11.30 in the morning about lunchtime. And here we have a healthy meal or not a healthy meal. Do you know which one is healthiest? Why would you say that one is? What because, can you tell me? Because it has chicken and grapes and carrots and milk, which are healthy. And that one just has cakes, french fry, a piece of cake, french fry, a hot dog, and a Pepsi. There's a lot of difference in that, isn't there? Yeah. In the calories and how, what's good for you. Now, can you tell what's in this sandwich? Chicken. Chicken, that's the main ingredient, chicken, right? Chicken, bread, lettuce. Okay, Lily, we're at the last station. And what do you see up here? There's a variety of things, aren't there? It's see, 9 o'clock at night. I see stuff that you're ready to go to bed, like pajamas and a bathtub that you wash yourself and then get ready and a story and then go to sleep. Very good. So on this board we have cotton. So you might have cotton pajamas, right? You might have cotton sheets and blankets. And uh, there's a bunch of lotions here, too. And on this picture, we have a picture of lotion or shampoo. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be an ingredient in the shampoo or lotions that comes from the farm? Wheat. Wheat. That's an unusual thing to have in, in that, isn't it? Yeah. That was a very good guess. You're pretty smart. How'd you get so smart? 
go to a good school, don't you? Yeah. That must be it. Okay, well, well, we'll write that in our slot there. So we'll have wheat. And then you can take this and you can quiz other people about it, okay? okay. I wonder if they'll know the answers as well as you did. We'll put our pencil back. Well, thanks very much for coming into the Mobile Ag Lab. I'm glad you helped me with that. You showed me so many things I wasn't sure. This is Barb Rupert from the Mobile Ag Lab, and we hope you enjoyed this segment.